Deuteronomy 20, 20, A. Rak eats asher teda ki lo eats ma'achal hu. Oto tashchit vekarata. So we get here this uh, rach at the beginning, kind of restricting things. Only the tree, only the tree, which we get here further modifying the tree. So we're talking specifically about a tree here. The tree which you know, in the verb that we have here, is a call imperfect. It's a second masculine singular. Notice the tav preformative here. Uh, I need to erase that because I messed up the vowel. Uh, the Tav performative gives us the 2MS, but what I wanted you to see is the lengthening of the performative vowel here. And the reason I want to show you that is because that tells us the verbal root is yada with that one vav yod that in the call imperfect will flee right on out of there. And we know it's gone because of the uh, lengthening of the vowel here. And so we get the, the tree which you know, and what do you know? That, and so this is an explanatory key talking about what you know, that not a tree of food it is. And we would have to supply the verb here. Now, if we put this in word order with the verbless clause, we would say not a tree of food is it. It, but again, that just means that this is not a tree that would be edible or that would be used for food. Next, we get the direct object marker fronted, oto. Just a quick reminder that uh, et and et look the same. This one's the direct object marker, and this one is the with preposition. When you put pronominal suffixes on these, the direct object marker, marker gets an o. So if you can think of o vowel for direct object marker. That can be helpful. So a little bit of a tidbit for you there. Direct object markers fronted here. It, namely that tree that is not good for food, it you shall destroy and you shall cut down. Here the verb is a hifil imperfect 2ms of the verbal root shachat. And then finally we get a call perfect 2ms. Notice the ta ending of the verbal root kaf resh. Tav, and uh, this would be, and you shall cut it down.